This will eat birds, children, and your little dog, too. Ha, ha, ha. Welcome back, guys. We're gonna do that big hood scoop. Since I don't have a top mount intercooler anymore, might as well feed it more air. I actually ordered it, oh, forever ago because it had to show up from China. I think I ordered it before I even ordered the ETS front mount, but it'll look cool. Might not be for everyone. So I did have a vinyl overlay, just a carbon fiber look. We're gonna be removing this portion and seeing how the new piece bolts up. Now I already have the underlay stuff removed, it's just a series of pop clips. I heard on the ducting, these clips can be a little more difficult to remove. And I'm sure we'll break at least half of them. That's all right. I got a baggie full of extras. Let's get to doing. Looks like there's also two screws to go along with all those pop clips, just so you know. Well, we only broke three of them and lost another one. That's okay, this thing may never be going back on the car. So other than the clips around the exterior, then you have three inside of the scoop, then these two as well. Okay, under the hood, looks like there are four bolts and there's four bolts for the new one. Should line up there. and replace this piece here. These little guys, little baby eight millimeters. Along with those four bolts, there was a white plastic piece that I needed to pinch down to get through as well. And once you got the four bolts and the plastic piece off, should just come up. All right. So this new piece is gonna bolt down here. Then the rest of it is just double-sided tape some of that 3M good stuff. So it comes with just these four screws that should go in those same locations on the hood. So let's test fit it. Let me put this on a tripod for a sec. Okay. All right. So what I think we're going to do is since it's bolting on this line, we will probably starting back, go up a couple inches to start the taping and go up and all the way around. Put some tape on.
I did another test fit and I decided to go all the way around. So we have a basically one section for each side. Kind of wraps up on the corner. So the trick with this tape is you want to peel up a corner on each leading edge and just pull it back enough so that you can get to this pull string, the back side, to expose the adhesive on this side. So not too much sticky surface is showing before you get committed to sticking that down. I'm going to wipe down the area where it's going to be sticking with some isopropyl alcohol. First of all, because that word's fun to say. Second of all, it'll help with the adhesion process. I got the corners peeled up, so I'm going to line that up before we stick it down. Once it's lined up, I'll put the screw holes in, make sure those are oriented. And once we're ready to commit, we can get to these tabs and pull them out from underneath. I think it looks awesome. You know, it really reminds me of the 2004-2005 STI. It had the big hood scoop. I remember when that came out, I was like, oh my gosh, I want one of those big scoop. Again, it might not be for everyone. Tell me what you think. Is that something you would put on your car? Thanks for watching my video. Just a short one today. And like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Want to play a game? Well, that looks ominous.